we just four right here. Do we just start playing? Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It clipped off. I'm sorry. Yeah, make sure it's still turned on. Okay. He can go wait and still turn on. Let's sit down. Is that mine? Yes. yes. that's yours, the one that you didn't want to bring to the table for whatever reason. All right. <clears throat> oh. This is fun. Yes. I'm already having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, I call this meeting. You call this meeting. To inform everyone. Uh -huh. You pregnant? No. So why y'all always got to think that somebody's <laughs> pregnant? <laughs> you know, my easy. fish dream is still out there. That's what you did last that year. That I'm pregnant. No. no, you're not. Though. She's <laughs> not. Though. Let me look at these cameras. Wait, she's, twins. she's not pregnant. She's not pregnant. She's not pregnant. <laughs> not this time. I'm not. At yeah. all. So um, we wanted to get together. I'm going to talk to this camera right here. Uh, I'll just I'll work all three. <laughs> he, he like that. He works like that. So we wanted to uh, basically sit down and talk about this year. Um, mm -hmm. It's the it's finally the end of the year. It's finally. It's not over yet. Well, granted, it's not over yet. Week. Yeah, but well, two weeks to be technical. Mm -hmm. But um, at this point, we are Weeps. pretty much yeah. We're at the end of the road, yeah. right? And right. Uh, we finally are stepping into the light at the end of the tunnel. Well, let's hope so. That's what right. we thought in 2019. I know. I know. I'm but, a pessimistic. Uh, I don't mean to be. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I mean, yeah. Let's talk. Let's talk about how this year has been. As for us as a family first, right? So obviously we came from Atlanta down here, right smack dab in the in midst the of the pandemic, right? Right in almost, the beginning. You almost didn't make it. Almost <clears throat> didn't make it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was an interesting time. Right, and so, right, right. So I know for us, for us it was definitely a little bit challenging just because like once we first heard of COVID and the pandemic, it was mainly an overseas thing. And, right, right, and then right, it slowly right, but surely much. hit here. Mm -hmm. But and then even at that time, everything was set. So what you mean? we had our flights to come. Mm -hmm. right. We Thank arranged you. mm -hmm, We arranged the shipments right. of our cars, of all of our furniture. Everything was set for the end of May. Yeah. And then the March yeah. happens. Yeah. yeah, that's true. And like you said, yeah, it was definitely in other countries. It was in Italy first. Mm -hmm. Or no. No, it was in China, China first, right. and then it rose in Italy, and then here it and then, is. And then it came here. US. Yeah, and it spread, and did it spread. Like, <laughs> right? Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. We just got back um, from spring break when it That's happened. Right. Mm -hmm. And when we got back, they were like, no school. we're going home yeah. for the next three days. Yeah. And then the next three days turned yeah. into the next three weeks. Right, right. Next right. week, next week, right. next week. I She's mean, a school teacher, by the way. It was just, so just like. And it really was a disrupt. It, yeah. No, like it was, it was, if I had, if I had have known that we were not coming back to school at all, I would have packed up yeah. my stuff. Yeah. I would have prepared a little bit more, but right, I ended right, up leaving right, a lot of know. my classroom mm -hmm. stuff in right. Atlanta. Mm -hmm. right. So what was, what was the first quarter of this year like for y'all? Like, because it was obviously before the pandemic hit, and then once the pandemic hit, right. like right. that changed everything for everybody, right? Because right? Right. So. I, I think the first quarter of the year, January, February, and March, I think our anticipation was seeing you guys in June relocate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, not only Dad and I, but the church as a whole, because you guys was already working, the Atlanta team, mm -hmm. you know, working, and we having our meetings and. So the first quarter, I think we was all trying to get ready for you guys, right? Transition. And it was going here. so good. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know, had a lot of meetings and Atlanta with the Dallas, and the Dallas was really excited about you all coming. Mm -hmm. And so it was just, it's almost like it was just a great marriage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, that's mm -hmm. what we were looking forward to here. Atlanta and Dallas getting ready to be married. Right, right. 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 We got the engagement <laughs> ring on, and you right. know, and. Bam! Yeah. You know, so that happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so. I mean, it was flowing so well, mm -hmm. you know, when we would plan and meet um, on Zoom or, mm -hmm. or, or right, FaceTime. Right. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we were just, we were really excited about you all getting here. So I think the ministry was just really trying to <laughs> take off the road. Yeah. Yeah. But isn't that how yeah. he works, though? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you plan, yeah. you schedule, you yeah. do everything. Everything is, like, at a height. Right, and then you get your first speed right. bump. Well, now so this was a major speed bump. Yeah, but yeah. You know, but, you know, people, <laughs> people were saying, 
people saying 2020's vision, you know, it's gonna be this and that. Yeah, like, oh, I remember that. the bottom falls out. Right. Yeah, and then, well, you know, you can't see nothing. You right. Know, what's about Talk to about happen? Vision. Okay. So we had to readjust. Mm -hmm. You know, especially in March, we had to readjust everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I celebrated like the, you talk about the first quarter. I celebrated my thirtieth in yeah. March. Yeah. Yeah. That's I right. had like. Oh, that's plans. what you had plan. yeah. I had plans. Right, right, right. For your third. And then. America has now COVID. Right. <laughs> 200,000 right. people have now, you know, it was just crazy. Yeah. It was, that was a big change too. Yeah. Right. And so I remember like we were talking about flying down here, like she said, and as things progressively got worse, we were yeah, like, yo, like, maybe, maybe we maybe need to the, drive yeah. because. And we, that was a dread. Yeah. Yeah, that was rough. Boys. 13 yeah. hours with two rambunctious boys. Really. Yeah. And a dog. And, and a dog. dog. <laughs> Yeah, that was tough. And I so did not yeah. wish to be in you all shoes. But all. you all left at a good time. We yeah. left at night. night. That's the yeah. key. That was key. okay. If that you have kids. Key. That's the clutch right there. If, no, you talk to that one. Right. Oh, I can't talk to that one. No, if you, you, talk you to that have one. kids. If you got kids. <laughs> and you are traveling, always leave at you bedtime. Got to. You got to. Always. They, they, slip. they slip all the way. They were yes. not And down. thankfully, shout out to my sister Cynthia and my dad. Yeah. But they watched the boys during the day. We slept. All day, mm -hmm. and then we picked up at night. Yeah, yeah. Yep. and we that got here. Good. We left at like eleven, and we got, got here, here at like, like nine, nine, ten o'clock a.m. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so and went to sleep. No, I think you were still too energized we're still to go right up. to sleep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. for the most part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so yeah, we just was, but the boys sleep. got to take a nap yeah. like normal. Yeah, and then we got to crash right yeah. off. Yeah. yeah, everything worked out. <laughs> So that leads me to ask, like, uh -oh. no, no, uh oh. <laughs> but like, as a family, like, the dynamic has definitely been shifted a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Just like being Since here. Since y'all been here? Yes. <laughs> we right? really have to go over here. Yes. No, it's, it's quiet. It has, yeah, okay. It's uh, definitely been a shift, uh, right? So y'all yeah. tell us, y'all tell us what some of the biggest things you've had to adjust to. Because, Greg, and people may not know this, we came down again with, it's not just us two. But it's two kids. A three-year-old, three and at the time he was, he was, he was like a few eight months. months. Eight months, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And a dog. And y'all yeah. haven't had anybody <clears throat> living with you since Dee Dee moved, right? Yeah, Back right. in 2011. And not only a two- or three-year-old, but a two-year-old that's always on 10. Yeah. He always. wakes up on 10. Always. On a honey. So, yeah. yeah. So, what was your question? So, <laughs> <laughs> so my question what was... What adjustment did we yeah, was the just, biggest adjustment? Yeah, what adjustment? was the biggest adjustment since we've been here? Uh, adapting to noise. Yeah. Because you have noise attacks. I do yeah. sometimes. Do you have, the, <laughs> do you have them more frequent now? But see, but I think no, what, I mean, but I think no, what helped, what helped dad is, maybe you guys are not aware, but I think what helped dad is, when he go in his office, he put his ear plugs on. He noise canceling. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, right. Now, but I just got right. my earbuds, so I didn't yeah. know since I just mm -hmm. got that. But, but I told him, I said. No, Father's Day, June. Uh huh. Yeah. Y'all yeah. came down in May. Yeah. Oh, he got him in June. Once we got down here, he was like, "I'm finding I need some noise canceling <laughs> <and Amazon. laughs> Right. Quick, fast, and in exactly. a hurry. So yeah. Noise cancellation. <laughs> so that was his, his adjusting. And then when I was sitting out here working, mm. not realizing uh, the distraction, but I'm, you know, I'm getting up, playing, and this and the third. Mm -hmm. So not used to that. Because yeah. I was used to just working. Dad would be in his office working, and I'll just be mm -hmm. on my own working. So then when you got kid, Mama, Mama, it's like when he knew I was downstairs, yeah. he would come downstairs, and I would stop working and get him whatever he wanted, you know. So adjusting to that, and then when I was not told, but I was, it was a suggestion for me to move in my bedroom. <laughs> got rolled up. Yeah, yeah <laughs> because got you, rolled up. Because you've been working from home. Right, right, right. right, right. Yeah. I've been working from home since March. And, and originally, you were working in the living room. Right. You started off in right, the Right, right. Yeah. We started well, off here in the yeah. den. We mm -hmm. started off in the mm -hmm. den. Yeah, yeah. And then you had to so, move to your Yeah, around bedroom. about April and May, my, I started having too many errors on my own. You know, and I did not realize the distraction mm -hmm. was really distracting me. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Bring it on trip. <laughs> yeah, you know, on the other hand. Yeah. They've been a joy. Yeah, they're a joy. But if we have a parent, you know, 
um, uh, grandkids and grandparents bonding. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and I, I think it's good, especially when you have to work sometime. I have to watch them. Yeah. Those few times, I mean, now every time I go up the stairs, Tracy yeah. and Papa, Papa. come up there. Right. Yeah. And if you it's, so, play with me? it's yeah. so funny because when he asks you, Papa, are you going to play with me? He says, no. No. And he's like, well, what you doing up here? <laughs> <laughs> you know what it like, is. Like, you know what it is when right. you come up Why there? are you here? <laughs> if you're not ready, then go back downstairs. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. What was, what's was what been one of the biggest adjustments for you, babe, since we've been here? Tell the truth, tell the truth. (laughs) Adjustments just living here. Honestly, I mean, I don't know. I don't think that I've had to adjust adjust that much. Mm -hmm. I don't think that I have. I don't know. Honestly, I can't think of anything. You can't at all? Not Well, um, Well, I think for you, it's just been like your job situation has been the biggest thing. Oh my, okay. I thought we were talking about in the house. Yeah, but I feel like that that affects the house too, though. My job. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My job. Yeah, that's been. Yeah, that's been that, the hours, mm-hmm. the. Because um, you're like you're gone most of the time. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't get to see anybody really. Mm-hmm. Right. It's dinner and then bedtime. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. And I know for me the biggest that's adjustment. Been really hard. The biggest adjustment for me has been your job because like yeah. because once the pandemic hit, like we were both working from home. You know, and so we were both tag teaming with the boys, and right. even right. before right. school started, we were just all here mm-hmm. working. And uh, once she had to go back to working like in the physical location, and it was just Did me you? and dad basically right, watching right, the right. boys. Seven twenty-five right. to I don't get off till four fifty, mm-hmm. and then it's like a forty-five minute forty minute drive. Yeah, and so you wouldn't get home until like six thirty at night. Right, right? so twelve-hour shift right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. it's like I still I'm self-employed, but I still need a good eight to ten hours a day to get my stuff done. Right, all yeah, while all while watching the boys, and so it's <clears> definitely <throat> been a challenge. But shout out to Dad though, because Dad was a trooper, like <laughs> for real. Because Dad, you would you would help out like in the mornings um, mm-hmm. after breakfast. You'd help out in the mornings and give me a few hours to just get as much done as I could. We feed the boys lunch, and put them down for for a nap, and then I was able to get a lot done. So but then you know because he would be on one hundred, okay? Yeah, not ten. He'd be on one hundred. Trip, yeah. Okay. And easy, so really. the first time I said, "Ooh, Jesus." <laughs> Because we weren't used yeah. to that, yeah. Yeah, really. so I had to, I had to rebound. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you know what? I have to admit, you know, you all being here and we all living together has really been good. Yeah, yeah. It could have been way worse. Man, yeah. Yeah. and you know what? I was really ner- I was really one thing I was nervous about <laughs> was me and mom. Right. Because we're so much alike, right. Yes. Right. I was right. like, "Oh my God, we're going to clash." I know we're going <laughs> to clash. Is it's done. just gonna, it's gonna happen. How am I going to handle it? I do not like confrontation. Jesus, help me. You don't like confrontation. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> let me pour some more wine. Right. Let me get <laughs> some more <laughs> wine. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I, sure I don't I like right. it. I don't oh, like okay. it. I mean, I, I can it. handle it. <laughs> don't run from it. I don't I run it. from it, but I don't look okay, for it. Well, just Clarification, Dad. <laughs> she doesn't like clear. She doesn't like confrontation. I don't like. I don't start. I'm not a starter. Yeah, you know, you're a finisher. Period. <laughs> the finger. No, but I just I'm I'm really pleasantly like happy about that and just it's just like a. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because you hear mother-in-laws and daughter-in-law yeah. shit. Right, like, right, 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 right. Some right. families can't Especially live. when they so much alike. Yeah. yeah. And some, families, the some families just you can't, can't live together. Mm-hmm. You I mean, can't. there's all type of mm-hmm. stuff you well, go I was on. saying every queen needs her own castle. That's true. Mm-hmm. Oh, that, that's, her, that's, that's her clue to say. Right. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Get to stepping. <laughs> you ain't got to go home, but you got Where's your castle? Right. Find your castle, queen. Right. Get to stepping. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah. We had a good summer. We had a, uh, I feel like we're basically at the end of the fall, but we had a really good fall. We had a great Thanksgiving and mm-hmm. like, 
you know, being able to still celebrate holidays and spend time with the family, I feel it's like, been great. Yeah, yeah, I mean, God and has really blessed to. us. Yeah, and yeah. want to. Like, yeah. right, right, be right, okay right, with, right, like, hanging right. out. Mm-hmm. Right. That's Absolutely. a big deal. Absolutely. You know, it's interesting because I, I'm forced to kind of think about so many other families that have been stuck in the house with each other right. that up, wouldn't right. have been there otherwise. And right. there's been right. so many rising cases of domestic violence, right. substance right. abuse, yeah. child abuse. Yeah. There's been so much that's happened, yeah. so like I can't help but to be grateful right. uh, to God that we're in the situation that we're in, right? And so, um, and I think, w- what do you count that for? I mean, you know, if families <clears throat> you know, that come together in situations like this, and you know, it's it's it's, hellish. it's chaos, yeah. yeah, maturity, yeah. right? Wilson. Clear expectations, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's an weird. understanding right. of right. boundaries. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what else. But I take it's, it in too for, you know, with dad and I, I'm always saying wisdom. You know, you can have theology, you can have education, but wisdom cries out. And I think because dad and I trust God for our direction and wisdom, mm-hmm. it helps mm-hmm. us to be able to communicate mm-hmm. with you guys, you know. And even with you and I, sometimes wisdom say, be quiet. Don't say no. Da 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 da. Or give a look now. You yeah. know. Yeah. And now. Right. <laughs> and or, now. or fix your no, mouth right. the way that she. Right. <laughs> no. no. Right. What did I Y'all say? No, we're not talking about <laughs> mama. Okay, okay me, mama. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh-uh. And then also yeah. just good upbringing. Like obviously, yeah. like you all raised him, so you know right, how you right, raised him. Right, but you're right. inviting. Right. Not a stranger, but someone that you've never lived with right, before right, right, <clears throat> into right. your space. But we had a little bit of foreknowledge of that in, in Atlanta. Yeah, whenever they would come to visit us. And oh, like, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 The house and stuff, you know? But yeah, I mean, like, and see, and y'all already knew I was OCD when I come to Atlanta. O C D. <laughs> Capital <laughs> underline. <laughs> I would, come, I would come to y'all house and start washing dishes when yes. you get to eating breakfast, yeah. you know, and start yeah. doing that. So you knew that when I visited your house. But, but you, know, you didn't know it was to that extreme till you came here, right? Well, yeah. she didn't. I, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. And from both of you. Yeah. yeah from both of you. I think he's yeah. worse than I am. But yeah. you know how you, you meet some people and it's like, who raised you? Mm-hmm. Like how, you know, some people just don't weren't raised right Mm -hmm. i just feel like i kind of i'm not trying to toot my own horn but like you just you just kind of have that understanding like when you go into someone else's house right right there's certain things that you just don't Don't do do. and there's certain things that you do and you help out with Mm -hmm. like right i think that it's just common sense but a lot of people was not raised where don't understand have that understanding right right Right. like just throw things please let me tell you something if i threw my shoes around or my my jacket around um lee 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 yeah right here right here right why don't you put that in the and it's nice why mm-hmm. don't you put that up in the closet <laughs> yeah now if it's repetitive right. okay now lee i done told you yep. are you speaking about me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dad Boy. this is dad dad will come up it but dad is a tutorial mm-hmm. Um, so whenever you're washing the um, clothes and you put clothes in the dryer, just right here, if you just lift this up, right. <laughs> if you just lift this up and ju- you just take the lint out of it and there's a trash can right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. He'll do a tutorial. Very much so. Well, he does that with you. Oh, with, not with you. No, with me, especially like whenever I was growing up, he would tell me, okay, look. This goes in here, and then you're going to take it out there, okay? It's like whether it's trash, or you wash the dishes, you wash it this way. If you do it right the first time, then you won't have to go back and do it again. See, no, that wasn't that helpful. See, no, I get a YouTube tutorial. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you, Dad. And, yeah. then, and then, look, you know I got to talk about Dad a little bit. So it's like, as I got to be more of an adult, like especially when it came down to me like cleaning and stuff, yeah. you know, especially cleaning behind myself now, because I'm not the cleanest person in the world, and I, I'll admit it. I'll admit it. I don't care. It's fine. It is what it is. I'm 31. It's probably not going to change. But whenever, <laughs> sometimes he'll come behind me like, all right, <laughs> almost like a, like a sometimes like a, <laughs> no master don't like that. <laughs> right now, you need to pick that up. Okay. I'm trying to tell you. Because <laughs> your mama coming here. It's like, uh, be pretty. Yeah, you need to pick it up. A lot of times. You're going to be in a whole heap of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> So, so let me but, ask. But it's good. Ahead. But I think from the time you guys came in, 
March, April, 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 mm-hmm. right? To you know, two or three months, whatever. I think that you guys picked up like that with my OCD. Oh yeah, keep that kitchen clean. Right, yeah. right. It's, it's just, and even with the boys, you know, they, you know, I'm picky. Don't jump on my couch. Mm-hmm. Don't oh, yeah. do this. Don't do that. Trip, trip, come here. Trip, you know, my mom gonna get you. Trip, you know. Yeah. So you know. Y'all pick, and I appreciate it. And they're yeah. adjusting too. Right, yeah. right. As I'm sitting down, Trip knows to sit on your bottom, Trip. Mm-hmm. Sit on your bottom, mm-hmm. you know. No, even Trip will tell Easy. Ah, 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 ah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Easy. No, no. Easy. Right, right, yeah. Right. So, you know, so you guys picked that up, which is, I appreciate that. Yeah. That you know that. I can't go with a dirty kitchen. Yeah. I can't go with in my surrounding areas. It has to be clean. For sure. For and sure. I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, I mean, because your six months would have been six months. Yeah. It would have been. Changed. It would have been less. So let me ask you this: like in regards to the church, right? And so if people don't know, like obviously y'all are pastors. You've been in ministry for a while. Um, but when it comes down to the church as it is right now, Church 110, and we just we just reached the one year mark for Church 110. Mm-hmm. What has this year been like for the church? And I, I and I want to include like all of year one uh, because all the, the beginning of uh, Church 110 was really last fall, September. right? Last yeah. September, October, right. and so going from. September, October of 2019 to now, right, like right, y'all would be right. able to tell us a little bit more, but like, what's that whole year been like, including 2020? Roller coaster. Okay, so <laughs> if I'm understanding you correctly, mm-hmm. the first year of church 2019, yeah. October. Yeah, 19 all the way up to okay. now. Uh, it's been, it's been really been wonderful actually, mm-hmm. um, because we had to adjust to yeah. what, you know the Lord changed the, the vision and we all got on board with the vision mm-hmm. even. Um, the leaders at the church was excited. And it was excited, it, yeah. especially when we presented um, the vision. Yeah, right, I mean right, they right. they were excited about it, which made us feel good. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know that For they sure. were you know with us. Um, the change because we're definitely not like we were mm-hmm. <laughs> two years Before, ago. Yeah, you know we're, we're definitely different, mm-hmm. and I think that's the way I believe the Lord is calling us to do. And not, do not to to not do it the norm. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. The way we're going, I'm, I'm loving it. Yeah. Because number one, um, you, you we're free. Mm-hmm. Number two, we know this is the way the Lord is directing us to go. You know, mm-hmm. and uh, the adjustment has been <clears throat> wonderful. The vision is good. You know, we're still uh, we're still in the process of revamping the vision as you go. It always right. you can add or subtract or whatever. Mm-hmm. But right now, everybody knows exactly what the vision of the church is. Mm-hmm. Then when we did the uh, makeover into in the building itself, yeah. I mean that really <clears throat> took it right. That yeah. really helped as people begin to see right where we're going. Right, and, and I think I feel like right before the name change. I felt like some of the leaders had the anticipation that we was on the verge of something happening. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew what it was. It's almost like you're pregnant and you know that labor is coming, but you don't know exactly what date, but you feel that change. Nesting. Right, right. You know, so I think when we uh, actually branched out and changed the name, I think everybody was already ready for it because they knew something was happening. So they embraced it with excitement, like, bam, let's do this. Mm -hmm. And in that transition of that, being excited and uh, accepting the change, it's almost like it prepared us for the March pandemic. And Mm -hmm. remember, remember. It's like they laid the foundation. Yeah, remember we were, even before, we let them know about the vision. We let them know that something was happening. Was happening. Yeah. I said, right, even right, before right. I was telling people, I said, I can't explain it. Right. I said, but God is about to do something <clears> with us. <throat> I just can't explain it right now. Mm-hmm. And uh, I said, just just hold on. Just keep going. Yeah. Well, have you seen a shift between, because it's, if you're talking about it started in September 2019. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> COVID happened truly in December, but then. Right, right. You had a few months where everything shut down, and then here we are in November. Did did you see a shift when the city started to shut down and COVID became like COVID? A shift in, in church in in the in the church. Yes, you, you know, did. Um, I think some were just 
a real concern, and I, my heart goes out for them because some people are, everybody's faith is not on the same level. Right, right, right. You know, so those of us that, you know, understand what's going on, right. you know, Can they're, they're adjusting. It. But still, I mean, this, but this is not just our church. Yeah. Right. This Everywhere. Is, this is across the board. Right. For well, sure. you guys remember, I didn't want to come to church. Right. Mm -hmm. Yo, yeah, remember me? <laughs> <laughs> I did not. Yeah. I didn't. And well, I was just, I was just scared. Well, I'm just, I was I'm just nervous. Gonna, I'm just, I'm just going to stay. Y'all just going, but I'm, I'm just going to stay. Y'all. Yeah, she was talking about getting a hotel. <laughs> I was. I was like, I'll get a hotel. And I was like, I'll get an apartment. I'll sleep in my car. Y'all do what y'all want to do. And I was thinking to myself, how much money does she make? <laughs> so the, let me, well, you and mom, um, let me ask y'all this because y'all really thrive in, like, whenever you're up speaking, y'all thrive in that interaction with people, mm -hmm. right? Right, y'all really come alive when it comes down to interacting with people, whether you're speaking like in front of an audience or being like amongst people, shaking hands, kissing babies, that whole thing. Right. But right, like right, since right. the church had been like since we had to close it down for physical services, and we were able to get in there and um, and have services again for a little yeah, while, yeah. and you know wearing yeah. the mask and all that stuff and hand right. sanitizer everywhere. But then. As of late, maybe about a month or so ago, yeah. we had no, we no, had no, yeah we had a now. we had a COVID uh, a COVID hit and right, and the right. thing uh, our whole house was shut down right. right, right. Um, but before I get to that, I want to ask, <clears throat> what was the shift like going from speaking to an audience to speaking to a camera to speaking to a camera? <laughs> what what was that? What was that like for y'all? It that, it was interesting. Mm -hmm. um, it's not the first time I've ever. You know, spoken to the camera. Right. So speaking to the camera, there was a part of me that was excited hmm. because it was a part of me that says, "I can do this." For I, sure, I love doing yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah. yeah, and I really wasn't afraid. <clears throat> I would just want to make sure that I communicate it right, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm still working on it more mm -hmm. and more because you know, the camera. I'm getting it's more different. Yeah, I'm getting more relaxed. Yeah. Uh, of course, when you're in front of people, it's a whole different. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. You don't get any energy. With yeah, them. we don't get no hands. Yeah. Don't right. preach about right. it. Right, none of that. Right. <laughs> and no Sandy. Right, and there's no, no, no shoes. Right. Oh right. And there's no music and no, behind you. No, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I couldn't even do that. Right. 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 I couldn't do. I can't do that. Right. I can't do. 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 I can't visualize that. Like the only way that I'm able to even do this right now is because I have you guys. Yeah. But see, one thing I realized in my, as they say, in your knowing, mm -hmm. in your knowing, you know, I believe that God has. Um, Wait, what did he say? Quality. In your knowing. knowing. It no, took me a minute too. I made a face. I was, I was like, knowing. what? I thought he said in your loins. I was, no. I was like, what? Turn the cameras off. <laughs> Turn the cameras off. <laughs> What are we doing here? <laughs> this was not a part of the plan. <laughs> I had a specific script. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, in your in knowing, your knowing or right. in, in your heart of hearts. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. You know, but I, I, it's like I know that I've been formed for this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what the camera? Wow. Mm -hmm. A deep inside, I know it. Yeah. So what? Dang. I'm I'm asking the Lord to to help me to you know. Um, like grow Progress. in it for sure, for sure. You know, we got no mm -hmm. just long ways to go, mm -hmm. but I'm not afraid at all. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm really excited. and That's honestly, honestly, mm -hmm. <laughs> I would rather have been more comfortable behind the camera. I feel really? more comfortable in front of the camera than I do in front of the camera. Or in front of the camera, right. because really? there's something about it frees me mm -hmm. in front of the camera. I don't have to worry about certain things. Mm -hmm. You know, really? with, the, with, the, with the audience. See, and I think but, I'm the op opposite. Yeah. I mean, I enjoy I one on one dialogue because mm -hmm. we 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 there for sure. We're, good. we're for there sure, always. Um, but when I'm in front of people, it's almost like I get more um, witty or because mm -hmm. you know I'm a emotion part. I do my hands yeah, and yeah. I might do my feet. Yeah, right. I'm in, in, it. Right. in it. You know and. I don't have to necessarily have an eight man or want to do to preach whatever, but if I see somebody and I might say something crazy, and a joke will come out. Mm -hmm. So a joke will come out when I'm more looking at you and I'm acting crazy. Yeah. Um, so it's almost like both ways, mm -hmm. you know, because Dad says that I'm better when we're doing one on one because he feels like I'm more relaxed. When well, you have a dialogue, 
Yeah, when I yeah, do the black, yeah. do it, the dialogues are much better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm I mean, a little bit more relaxed yeah. dialogues than I am yeah. just doing it by myself. For sure. So, okay, so then that brings me to us being shut down. Oh, okay. Right? Jesus. Okay, and so for those that we don't... the house? Yes, oh, and at yeah. the church. For those that don't know, about a little over a month and a half ago... It was in November. It was in November, right yeah. before Thanksgiving. Yes, the entire house was shut down because somebody at the church had been exposed. Right. And, and they... they went and got tested midweek, sent out messages to everybody, and we had to immediately shut everything down, right? right, right and right. luckily, like, we're a small church, and so we were able to have services in a very controlled manner, and everybody was being super careful, and the person that got it, he's he's uber careful, right? Like, right, he's, right, you know, right. he always made sure he was doing everything, but he had to go to work, right? Right, right. And so whenever we found out that he tested positive, um, I remember like it was yesterday, we went and got tested and you got your results back first mm -hmm. and you came back positive. Mm -hmm. You came back negative. You came back negative right. and I came back positive. Right. Right? right. right. And so thank God that we stay in a house that's big enough for all of us to be able to go <laughs> in our separate rooms. Right? right. And so I'm just catching everybody up. And so we are in our individual rooms, which leaves Alicia and dad and the boys to fend for themselves right, <laughs> basically right, for two or three days exactly yeah. two or three weeks no two or three days because then dad right that's shut right down. that's right, right. yeah right. because because right. you okay. because i remembered i remember because dad you were you were eating something you were like i can't taste this <laughs> 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 like, i can't taste this i don't know what it tastes like and that's when i knew Okay, something was yeah, up. something was up. Yeah. You know, sometimes if you have a flu or a bad head cold, you mm -hmm. can't take blood. But this was different. Yeah. Yeah. And I said, I better go get tested. So, you know. And then he comes to me, up to me as calmly as possible. I was like, Lee, I'm going to um, I'm gonna just stay in my office yeah. for the next few weeks. I, I should be fine. But yeah. I'm just going to stay in the office. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. And in my mind, it's like... Have you seen um, Inside Out where the characters in their mind are like movie, freaking yeah. out? Yeah, going crazy. They're like, oh my God, no, no. Right. You hear like alarms going off. I'm like, <laughs> like on the face, I'm like, okay, all right, that's cool. But in my mind, I'm like, ah! yeah. <laughs> Because we were dropping like flies yeah. in this yeah. thing. It was, we were yeah. dropping. Mom, RJ, you, and yeah. I'm just like. And you had to take care of the boys yeah. and all of us. And, and you did a, an she did excellent. Excellent. Yes, you did. Throwing, throwing oh, water in. Yeah. In the, the bottle. Right. Listen, listen. I told somebody the other day. I said, "Listen, everybody got a bottle of yeah, wine because sure I did. am not doing refill. Right. Once I go upstairs, I'm done." Yeah, that's real. So this year also presented a lot nationwide, right? Right. Because I mean, I'll, I'll just start from like the top down. We lost a lot of heartfelt celebrities yeah. this year. Right, right. Uh, obviously, one that comes to mind is Kobe Bryant. Oh, right. He made so much to so many people. Right. right? Debo. Say it again. Debo. Debo, a tiny lister. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that hit. Play. Yeah, no, that got hit play. Yeah, I didn't mean to laugh at that, but it's the fact that you called him Debo. And the word... He will De forever be yeah, Debo. Yeah, but the word that... The, his name, Debo, just brings laughter to so many yeah, people, yeah, right? Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so but his real name was Tiny, Tiny. Lister. Yeah, so he passed away, and <coughs> Rance Allen passed away this yeah. year. Yeah, you yeah, know, he yeah. was a gospel yeah. giant. You yeah. know, and they were yeah. they were about, uh, if I'm correct, I may be wrong in the number. I think about sixty Church of God in Christ bishops that passed away from COVID. Really, from COVID, yeah. And that and that and that leads me to another another thing. It's just like not even just the celebrities, but nation. Nationwide, nationwide and globally right. so many yeah. people right. have passed from this yeah. disease you know and there's been so many so many things saying that it's a hoax and this that and the other i mean we see we've seen people fall and you have to and you have to be compassionate yeah. uh to those and their families yeah you know because some people say well it's been a great year for me even though it's been bad but there are people have really suffered Absolutely. right right i think that's because year. people see numbers they mm -hmm. don't see faces they don't know yeah. names yeah. they don't know their personalities right. they just mm -hmm. see on the news like six hundred thousand people right, right, have right, now right. passed away that that number might be off i don't right. i don't know but like x amount of number has been passed has passed away from covid yeah and then you turn a channel and then you're done. Well, see, but then there was on the news, I think it was last night, I was watching the news last night, 
and it was touching. I think it was in Fort Worth. That first, it was the father, which was a police officer that died from COVID. Mm -hmm. Then his mother mm -hmm. died from COVID. <clears throat> I think then the sister, then the aunt. It was like five in one family. They end up holding the police officer and the mother funeral off and so they can just do all of them at one time. It was like That's five so of them sad. in one family. Yeah. And um, the lady, the sister that was alive, so she was saying it was so hard because they couldn't really go and see all of them, <coughs> you know, because they won't let you in the hospital. They won't, yeah. But you yeah. have all of these police officers, the mother, the father, all, all of these in one family at the same time, less than a week time. Well, Die. I have a coworker who I just talked to the other day. <coughs> and um, we were just catching up and she was saying, our kids go to the same school. And her kid, we're virtual right now. Her kids, two, two of her kids, her only kids, she has two, actually have tested for positive, or mm -hmm. tested positive for COVID. Her husband has wow. tested positive for COVID. Yeah. And it got so bad to the point, her kids are asymptomatic. Mm -hmm. They're just going crazy because they're separated. Right, right. <clears throat> but her husband, she said that there were times in her mind, she was like, this is it. Like she had to like come to that realization, like this is it. This right. is the end of the road right. because he couldn't, he couldn't move. He was just sitting wow. in bed. He couldn't move. He wow. couldn't sit up. And the times that he could sit up, he would go get out of bed to go to the bathroom. He has gashes from falling on his oh, body wow. because his, he was so weak. Oh, he wow. couldn't make it. Oh, wow. And so she was saying like, how oh, that just gave me chills. She was saying now he's better. It's like week three, he's better. He's still not all the way there because wow. he, he, his body was just like yeah. shutting Shut down. down. Yeah. yeah. So week three, like he's a little bit better, but, yeah. and they can talk to each other. Like they both were thinking like, this is it. Yeah. She's yeah. like, we can talk yeah. about it now, but in the moment, like we were like, and he's, at, he's at the house. They all sit there. They're at the house. At the house. Wow. Mm -hmm. But I mean, his, week three, her kids keep testing for positive keep wow. testing keep testing and i don't we don't know what it is but it's it's scary yeah, like i yeah, said yeah, people just yeah. see numbers and just think numbers they don't right, think people right, are right. truly being affected by this right. and no and that's what i thought about that when all of us <clears throat> test positive you know and with you're not having any symptoms at all yeah. dad had a little headache or cold whatever and i had more of the flu symptoms and i just thought knowing that so many people died from this you know and I said, it was like none of us was really shut down. Mm -hmm. But I was still working. Mm -hmm. You know, I was still get up on my computer and I still had to work. Like the record show, I was still working every day. Right, right. <laughs> I didn't take off. I was still working. Yeah. And, but every day I would say, God, I thank you. Because it could have been it worse. Been yeah. whole lot you know, yeah. um, and I have to say, you know, for us being in our age bracket, yeah. Um, yeah. I thank God that, you know, without taking care of ourselves and our vitamins and, this will do it every time. <laughs> She's a, Even I, that albino I, wine, I, I tell it'll you. do it. When they I say a glass of wine, it's very healthy for you. Well, yeah. they say a glass of wine. Well, well, my doctor told me two <laughs> glasses yeah. of wine a two, day. Two glasses There's of wine. There's nothing wrong with three. <laughs> but, or in some cases, four. But regardless, it, it's healthy but for I, you. But uh, I think it. that, you know, you know, taking care of yourself, it, yeah. and it, yeah. I think that <clears throat> gave us hope yeah. that knowing that we was in pretty good condition, right. you know, working and exercising. The right now, though, they, they can't believe that we don't take any medicine at all. Yeah. You know, in our 60s, yeah. you yeah. know. They won't take any medicine at mm -hmm. all. Just, yeah. just vitamins. But. I think that it's important for people to know your age. And the reason why is because y'all are doing great for your age. I mean, it's not, it's not like y'all are like, about to kill over any minute, but like, right, right. Of course not. but of course yeah, not. but like y'all are uh, what, 63, 62. How old am I? You know, when you lie so much you know? about it, you almost forget. <laughs> no, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. That's a shame. <laughs> you still don't know. I'm 66. Right, and mom is 62 or 63, somewhere around there. Going on 63, I'm right. 62. Right, Six, you'll be 63 in May. How old are you 66 yes. for four right. years? Yeah, right. yeah. Right. And you know, look, when you push that number up so much. Yeah, but, and yeah, like y'all yeah. look great. You're doing great health wise. Mm -hmm. And like you're, to me, I feel like y'all are just now starting to really yeah. live your lives. Yeah. That's like, what I feel yeah. like. Yeah. We're just yeah. now starting. Because I, mm -hmm. I was at the dentist's office just two days ago. 
And the doctor back there told the office manager, she said, wow, that lady is in great shape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was, she said, she takes no medication. Right. They was, even with the condition of my teeth, they just said, they could not believe it. They said, she is in such great shape. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you, Lord. The Lord. Cheers to that. Right. Cheers to yes. that. <laughs> <laughs>So we can't we can't talk about this year without also talking about the other pandemic, about racial inequality. Yeah. Right, right. Because this was such a pivotal year right, for right. racial equality worldwide. Right. Like right, when you right, see people right. on the other side of the world protesting for what's going on here in the US, that that one of those moments, especially obviously George Floyd was a pivotal turning point right, for this right, exactly. for the world. Right. For the exactly. world, exactly. George Point, Bre George Floyd, excuse me, uh, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud right. Arbery, right. Um, and it's so, good you remember those names. Yeah, I mean, those names are important names, and those, are, and unfortunately, those are names that are parts of a whole sea of names, right? Right? right, right that right, that right. have unfortunately lost their lives due to racial inequality and, and, and social injustice. Mm -hmm. So when it comes down to uh, our country. Um, because obviously this is where we live and you know obviously we're in Texas when it comes down to where we are in this year um, what were you all's thoughts on on how this year unfolded in terms of racial equality I mean it's not something that's new right right I mean, so always, we, we grew always, up in it yeah, yeah it's always been around mm -hmm. uh, and i think a lot of people forget that i don't mean to cut you right, off yeah. right a lot of people forget in that the, the, 60s, the civil we rights seeing, movement right. was what 50 60 years ago like right, it, it right. wasn't that long ago right yeah so i, I think to us it's not it's nothing new it's absolutely. but i think to the younger generation <clears throat> that that um what do you call it the intermarriage, black, white, Mexican, you know, what do you yeah, call it? Interracial. interracial. Right, right. Mm -hmm. That's common for this generation. Yeah. But in us coming up, it's like, you don't see that. If you do, you look at them crazy. Yeah. So with coming up with us, we knew blacks, you stay on this side of the street, or you do this right, or you, you fear the police back in the 50s and the 60s. Mm -hmm. It's almost like <clears throat> repeating itself, mm -hmm. the history. So it's nothing new to us, yeah. and which I thought was so sad today. I was at mom's house and I was watching, um, what is it called? Blackish. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Blackish. Mm -hmm. And they, a series today was the white cops how they handcuffed the three kids mm -hmm. because they got a report that there was three men in the neighborhood burg burglarizing houses. Men, but you're gonna handicap three Hand kids. Handcuffs. I mean, handcuffs. Yeah. Three kids, nine, ten, twelve year old, because it was black. Right. Well, you know, you you have to, uh, you know, uh, I'm trying to say this in in the correct way. Um, you know, racism is, is it is bad, mm -hmm. especially there are some uh, police officers that they got problems, mm -hmm. deep seated problems yep. as far That's as racial is concerned. I mean, to me, it's, it's ridiculous. It's a power trip. Um, you know, yeah. um, but I, I was we just want. <clears throat> of course, we know all policemen aren't bad. Right. 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 Uh, I used Definitely. to work with um, Arlington Police Department for the short time that I did, and you know, many of those men. Um, and women. And women, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank right, you. Right. Took that as a calling. It's a really a legit calling. They yeah. really wanted to help people, mm -hmm. you know. But mm -hmm. then you have one one bad apple, or two bad apples, and makes everybody, everybody else look bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. So I think we need to always keep that balance. I'm not by no means and no ways justifying right. a racial right, um, right. inequality. Inequality, mm -hmm. not right, at all. Right. But as Christians, we still have to understand that there are people. There are, there are Christian policemen. Yeah. Out there that want to so dealing with this thing with George Floyd I think uh, like I said um, racial injustice has always been in this country but now it's just on a, such a big scale now because of what he did I know there are many people yeah many people uh, criticize um, what people, well, people have talked about him about his background except I don't care if he's a drug addict yeah, nobody right. deserved to be right you know, to die like that. Right. You know, yeah. from but underneath it was police, mm -hmm. per, uh, uh, police officer. officer yeah. I just don't think that that was that was cool at all. Right. Which caused an uh, uproar right. in the whole country and still <laughs> right. going on. Mm -hmm. So now, and then not only that, but it's also causing churches. Yeah. 
finally to deal with it because I think God when he's he stirred the nest so right. that he's bringing that the, the, the racial inequality in the face of pastors right. yeah. Yeah. That's right. that don't want to deal topic. with it oh yeah, yeah. Right. yeah exactly. they don't want to deal exactly. with it they don't want to talk about now it now you have God is saying you're going to deal with this because as Jesus said Father I pray that you make them one even as you and I are one mm -hmm. and however God does that mm -hmm. whether, it's, whether it's voluntarily it's like we were talking about or he may cause um um Persecution in the church, whatever, yeah. whatever. God is concerned about His church, mm -hmm. but by all means, we are in this world as light and salt, right? You know, mm. to to bring light to that in 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 in, in righteousness according to God's word it is wrong. We need, we need to deal with it. Yeah. Yes, pray, but you gotta you gotta have action as well. Absolutely. Right, right, right. Absolutely. Well, I was right. nervous to move to Texas. I'm not gonna lie. I was too, honestly. I um. I mean, I don't, you guys probably know, but I don't know if you guys know, but I'm from West Virginia. And so, yes, there are black people that live in West Virginia, mm -hmm. but, <laughs> More the vanilla bean. you know, as, <laughs> you know, we're there, but I mean, I definitely experienced racism there. Um, for sure. I mean, I yeah. got plenty. I remember going somewhere in the mountains with my friend and I don't, I can't remember where we were. But we were meeting one of her sister's boyfriend's family or something like that. And I mean, I felt fine because I, and Anna's white, but I felt fine because Anna was like my sister. Like to this day, like we are still talking. But when I got wherever we were, I got so many stares. Mm -hmm. it, it was just like. Very uncomfortable. It was like, ooh. And and it was like at that moment, like I realized my blackness, mm -hmm. right, right. you know? Mm -hmm. I had another incident where um, one of our friends, her parents was like, you're the most well-behaved nigga we've ever met. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. They said that literally to you? Yes, literally. Oh, you know what I mean? It's just like, and in my mind, I'm like, I think I was like 14 years old and I'm like, I couldn't comprehend mm -hmm. what really that meant, but 30 years, like I'm 30 years old now, I'm no, like, you understand. oh, like, excuse me? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like 14, you're I mean, like, what? Yeah. What does that mean? Why, At least like why? for me, but why? like, why? so moving to Georgia. To, mm -hmm. to, I, to Atlanta. Well, no, remember first I moved to McDonough. True, yeah. I got called a nigger. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Moving to, work. moving to Atlanta, <laughs> it was like paradise for me. Like I didn't have to so deal many. with that. Yeah, 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 I yeah, didn't yeah, have to so deal many. with that. And it was just like, oh my God, I, I have found it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Now coming to Texas, uh, we're, we're DFW, but we're in Midlothian. It, I'm just like, I don't want to deal with that again. Yeah. yeah, You know what I mean? So I was really nervous just for that. And then... All of these different events kept happening. I don't want to say events. That's not these unfortunate. Um, help me, babe, please. I'm not trying to like murder situations. Situ situ like these murders. Right. Yeah. These right. murders ha were right. happening, right. and right. I'm just like, I, I can't. I can't because I got two black boys. Right. Yeah. right. No matter right. how yellow they are to the other side, mm -hmm. they, they still black. black. Yeah. Right. 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 And right. so it was just an adjustment adjustment and it still is an adjustment and I'm just trying to right. navigate how do I raise them mm -hmm. to not be slaughtered. And it's so sad that now the way things are going you almost have to look at and I say this because what we was looking at earlier today do I want to live on that side of town? Right. Do I want to live that far out? Who are my boys going to play with? Where right. are they going to be called? Right. You know, yeah. how are they going to be treated? Mm -hmm. Although I want this, but do I want to live in that particular area yeah. because I'm black? But you know, you know what I appreciate in this day and time is you when they have the, um, the peaceful rallies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not the violent, the peaceful rallies. Yeah. And you see all colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that I think that is great because people are becoming aware, right? You know of of issue. Yeah, and you don't have a choice, right? And coming aware that we're all human beings. I yeah, you just right. You know, I think right. it's I think it's great to see that. You know, um, and I take that back. You do have a choice. You do have a choice because 
I think what, <clears throat> like you guys said, this is not new. Right. This has been new in happening for centuries. Mm -hmm. right, right. Okay. It's right. not new. But what is new is the fact that we are able to see it on our phones, on the TV, True. on our laptops, on our tablets. We have so much access to information and videos and everything nowadays. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That if you truly believe that there are not injustices, if you mm -hmm. truly believe that there is no police brutality that is happening, that right. there is no right. systematic racism that is happening, you're choosing not to believe it. Exactly. Because exactly. how? Exactly. How, Sway, is yeah. right here. Yeah. How? Yeah. I agree with that. So I take that. I take that back. But we, unfortunately, but, we have, but on, on the other hand, I, I'm not disagreeing. No, with I, I hear you. But we need to also be be cautious, because if you're constantly mm -hmm. looking at the negative mm -hmm. all of the time, that's all, that's yeah. where your mind is going to be all the time. Mm -hmm. I do not believe. You know, I may catch some flack for this, but I'm sorry. I believe uh -oh. in. Uh -oh. I believe in kingdom people. Kingdom mindset. Mm -hmm. If we're going to be Christians, be Christians. Right. If you're going to preach the gospel, preach the gospel. You know, if Jesus is Lord, He's Lord, and we have to take the principles of the kingdom mm -hmm. and apply it to our everyday lives, regardless of where we live or regardless of what we're handed, what's coming at us. Yeah. Because, like you said, there's nothing new under the sun. Right. You right. know, and you really can't get away from it, mm -hmm. no matter where you go. Mm -hmm. You're going to run into it, but but we have to remember. That we that we are salt, we are light, and we do have to conduct ourselves as Christians. Right. But if, but you be careful that you don't feed your mind so much on that. Yeah. That the negativity. You, especially if say for instance if I I'm looking forward to a multi multi cultural uh, multi cultural yeah, church. Culture. Yeah. Okay. If sometimes we feed ourselves. All this up all the time, then you get somebody that looks different than you are, you know, and back part of your mind, you know, you're going to say they're racist or you're going to, you know, we just have to be careful. I'm not saying that's going to happen, right. but you have to be careful what you feed mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have sure. to be careful because it gets in your head, it gets in your heart, and it's going to flow out of you. From the heart flows the issues of life. And by no means am I condoning it. Yeah. But I do think we need to have that balance. And then dealing with, dealing with racial, you know, the way I look at it, I don't know, you, 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 you institute, you know, laws and this and that and the other, but if a person's heart yeah. hasn't been hasn't changed, been changed yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. because Jesus always dealt with the heart right. and the Issue. root of the right. matter. Right. And, and, right. and that's right. why he right. said, right. And, this is why, and, and this is why Jesus said, he said, except the man be born again, he cannot see or enter the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Even though there are people in the kingdom that still struggle mm -hmm. with that. That's, right. that's, that's reality. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but Wait, say, say that one more time. Okay. That's there are real. people in the kingdom that still struggle with racial Racism. 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 There are Christians that black still and struggle. white. And I, are. and I think that's important to understand right. that when you say right. when you say that statement, there are Christians that still struggle. So that means that you know Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Right. That means yeah. that you have a relationship with Jesus. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. That means that you pray to Jesus. Right. Right. But you still struggle. But you still issue. struggle. And, but right. the key, but the key word is struggle, not right. not not. Like indulge in racism, but right. understand that you have a problem. Right, because and you're there are struggling exactly with that you and reason. that you are wrestling with that and actively trying. It's an so acknowledgement. yeah, it's an acknowledgement. Right. Yeah, right. I mean, it's, it's, it, it, it is the sanctifying work of the Holy Spirit. Right, you know, everybody goes through that process. No one, no one escapes that process. Mm -hmm. So no matter what your situation or your problem might be, you're still going to go through that process. So there are people, black, white, Hispanic, whatever. It doesn't matter that the Lord mm -hmm. is working that. Out because his church, mm -hmm. you know, he, his church. We know no 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 color in that respect. Right, right, yeah. right, right. You, you know? know what I've noticed is everybody obviously has a struggle. Right. They have at some least one of, thing some that they yeah. constantly are struggling with. Right. And what I've noticed is that one thing that you struggle with, just because like you have overcome it at this moment doesn't mean that it's not going to come back up. Exactly. And it's not going to come back up again and again and That's again and again. That's why it's a struggle. It Galatians, Galatians 5. <laughs> oh, speak it. What is it? No, what is it? <laughs> no continue, please. No, what does Galatians 5 oh, oh, enlighten <laughs> us? <laughs> Y'all, look quick. We no. What does, what does Galatians 5 the Bible? Bible. <laughs> the, no, the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. Yeah. Therefore, you cannot do the things that you would. Right. 
you know, there's a there's a constant battle. But, but I think that that goes Paul back to that die to me daily. Isn't that what he says? Yeah, die, you die, Paul said, I or die, die daily. to yourself daily. Yeah. Paul said, yeah. I die daily. Yeah. So, so we have to we have to understand. Right? Have, I'm so have, proud of We have to understand that racism is something that is in the heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we as Christians have the answer to that, and that answer is Jesus. Right. And. Even though we ourselves are still. Yeah, we're not perfect. He didn't say perfect people. Yeah. Imperfect. Right. So, um, as we bring this to a close. Yeah. <laughs> we just get warmed up. Yeah, right. like, we're just getting warmed up and we're running out of uh, space on these cards here. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, you know, we're approaching the end of 2020. Yeah. Finally, thank God. For 2021, what are our hopes and prayers for our family, for Church 110, and for the nation? What are our hopes and prayers? For the family, my, my prayer is that God will um, increase us. Increase Why what? Did you look at <laughs> increase what? Exactly. Our pockets, our money. Right, our land, our territory. Let's, let's say some of that. Oh, well, it's just the way, it's the way it is. By all means, by all means. You give her that, grand, you give her that granddaddy eye. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, I mean, yeah, it increases, you know. Uh-huh. Look at finances. And, 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 and also that God will really use us as a family. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, right. that's yeah. just yeah. simple. That's, that he uses, I mean, before you all got it, my wife and I, we would, we would have times of prayer and we would pray. You know, for the family, pray. Mm -hmm. I know Didi's not here at the time. We were, we were just praying for all of us that God would just have His way in all of our lives yeah. and uses us as a family. Yeah. And w whatever His will is for us to do, mm -hmm. you know, Church One Ten. I'm, I'm I'm praying all the time that God add to our numbers. Right. You know that God that let me add, let me Both. say this that and those that are already and yeah and those that are already there that that their giftings would flourish. Yeah, for sure. Because we can't do this thing. Right. This is not just a yeah. Johnson family. Right. Right. That's why right. 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 all Church right. 110 is involved. Yeah. And that's why it's important that everybody find out exactly, yeah, you know, they're there and find out, you know, who they are in Christ mm -hmm. and that they can develop mm -hmm. the gift that God has given because everybody is important. Right. Right. What do you think, Mom? What, what are some <clears throat> things that you're looking for for our family and for the church and for the nation? He covered it so well. <laughs> Ditto. <laughs> Which is it's the same as like, like you mentioned, Dee Dee's not here yet. Yeah. But she's one that we, we're praying that in God's timing that we bring our family together. Because mm -hmm. I think all of us have such unique giftings. For sure. That we, when we come together, we are more than, what's the name of that bomb? That's is it atomic bomb? Yeah. Bomb? Yeah, you know, but it's so, we, we're all, when we stay in our lane and out there, we are so powerful, mm -hmm. you know? And so that's what, like Dad said, we pray for our families that you guys came down and there was, a, and matter of fact, Dee Dee said just today that she was pulling out her 2020 list mm -hmm. that she wrote God so she could start checking yeah. stuff mm -hmm. off, you know. And so we have that yet on our list to check off for Dee Dee to come. Yeah. So that's what we look at that the amazing, and like you say, even in our age, 60 to 62, 63, how old I am, <laughs> that, <laughs> that, um, <laughs> That we're just at the break of what God yeah. has yeah. You know, in store for us. And that to see, it's, it's not just the Johnsons, but the Johnsons is that front line mm -hmm. of where Church 110 is going. Mm -hmm. And so as we come together as a family, I just see Church 110 coming together because they are so excited and being on board and to flourish out and see what God is going to do through us. Because I believe in this season, I don't, if we see the pandemic didn't really shake the leaders, mm -hmm. you know, it shook some members, but it didn't really shake the leaders mm -hmm. until I see, okay, we, we're ready. Let's yeah. go for it. You yeah. know, whatever happens, let's go for it. So that's what I'm looking for God to do stuff with the Johnsons as we come together to make that impact. And then, you know, it, it's going to fall into church. So what do you all see? 
Do we have enough time on the court? Let's uh, see we, what you all we, say. Uh, we have a few, a few minutes. Um, well, I think that for us, we have our own our own goals and aspirations, obviously <laughs> financially, like for the family. And we're, we've always already been talking about things that we want to do as a family financially that'll grow us and get us into a place of generational wealth mm -hmm. uh, to be able to set us up um, financially and set up our kids, your grandkids, your great grandkids someday, you know, so um, I think that that's important. But also, I, like you said, Dad, I, I pray that God would use our family to be effective. Like we say it all the time: if we're going to be Christian, let's be Christian, right? right, right? If, right. if we're going to if we're going to call right. ourselves Christians, then let's be effective. Let's help right. some people. Right. Right. Let's right. let's right. give people something to hope for, right. you know. And right. that's that's one thing that I pray uh, we're able to do as a family. Obviously, as a church, because that's what we're supposed to be doing, mm -hmm. but also that we'd be able to affect the nation in one way or another. Because, I mean, it's, it's 2020, 2021, like technology is a thing. There's no reason why we can't we can't give somebody hope that lives in Seattle or New York right. or Bangkok, right. China. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like, there's no. Than our four walls. Exactly, it's, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah, I mean, the gospel is not <clears> just for And I us. think that it's always been more than four walls. I don't mean to touch you up. I'm so no, sorry. Good. You're good. I feel, I feel like it's always been more than four walls, mm -hmm. but now we're forced right, to mm -hmm. look at it, to mm -hmm. bring right. it beyond. It's, face. Right. Right. it's like, right. God's like, uh uh, no, 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 no. Y'all right. been, right. been way too comfortable right. yeah. for too long. Yeah. Right. You know Preach what I mean? Girl. I Preach. want you to move Preach. out. Yeah, that's Preach. real. Preach. Preach. <laughs> <laughs> Man. So you know, That's a great ending. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, I didn't get a chance. Can I answer? I, I, thought, you I, I thought you did. Well, you go no, ahead. you no. answered for both of us. Um, I was no, I was answering for me. But by, you listen. Oh, you are a smart, intelligent yes. woman. By all means. Yes, yes, I am. Yes. And I would just like to say. <laughs> we, we got a few minutes, all right now. <laughs> no, I just, I honestly, for our family, I'm just praying for guidance and wisdom, just yeah. because we. We've talked about like what our goals were, what our plans were, what we want right. for our family, for the church, and I'm just I'm just praying that like, you know, we have the we have the idea, we just got to make it plain, yeah. and we just got to honestly once we make it plain, we just got to take it to God, sure and so I'm just asking that this year is the year of vision, you know what 21? I mean? Twenty one. Okay. Yeah, I'm just praying that. At this time, you know, God is just guiding us and just in and protecting us yeah. in this, um, and just talking to us and telling us, okay, no, th I know that's what you want, but let's. I got something better for you. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. us being yeah. willing to be like, you know what? All right. And okay. You know, I just want to say this that although a lot of stuff really hit the fan this year, I do still feel like this year was still the year of vision. Mm -hmm. I really, really do yeah. because there's so much that has happened. You don't right, just, right, right, you don't right. just like develop. I, Hopefully I don't, you know yourself better. Right. I don't think that, I don't think that vision is, is equal to execution. Like vision and execution don't happen at the same time. Right. Like vision happens first and right, then right, execution right, right, happens. Right. right? Exactly. And I think right, that, exactly. and I personally feel like God, that God sort of opened things up in his mm -hmm. in his own in his own way mm -hmm. to give so many people the window to develop the vision so that in 2021 we can vision. execute. Right. That's, right. Mm. That's good. You know? That was good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I guess I'll give you uh, a yeah. <laughs> Well yeah, so you yeah, know that was good. That's, yeah, so yeah, I, I, I like think that, that that'll preach. I want to uh close this out by saying and speaking, um to us as a family and to the viewers that, that watch this, whether you're watching this now at 2020 or you're watching this five years from now, um, to, for one, hold your family close. Yeah. Always. Thank God for your family. Thank God for you. But and your, I'm sorry, and your extended family. And your extended family. We are family. not blood. Yeah. But, I mean, it, it's something to be said for you to allow this crazy loud light skinned woman into your home. Mm -hmm. Girl, you know. <laughs> you know she light skinned. I know. No, I was gonna I know, I know, I know, I was gonna say, she, I was, I was, I was say babe, babe, you're not loud. I know me. You crazy know, and light skinned, sure. I know me. But you it's ain't loud. Right. Yeah, I know me. I know me. But I you know no. and it and and 
and while you're thankful for your family, mm -hmm. extended family. Absolutely. As well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For Absolutely. sure. Those that are not blood, whether it's your your friends. Right, right, right. right. You know yeah. what I mean? Right. Just right. your team. Right. right, right. So, so yeah, by all means, with that being said, Dad, can you just say a prayer uh, to close this year out <clears throat> and uh, give us, uh, you know, some hope for, 2021. for 2021? The pressure. <laughs> 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 yeah, he can handle it. He's, got it. He's an apostle after all. Father, we just thank you so much for your presence that is in our midst right now. You say that you will never leave us, you'll never forsake us, that you will always be with us, even to the end of this age, and we know that you're with us. Thank you for this conversation. Thank you for what you're doing in our lives. Lord, not just in our lives, but the lives of so many that are seeking your face, and the lives of those that you are directing and you are giving them wisdom in which way to turn. Thank you, oh God, for what you're doing. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for keeping us and holding us and speaking to us and encouraging us and speaking to us your word that we may know how to conduct ourselves at this time. We know that you are God. And we know that this year has been rough for many people, Father. But we thank you for your blessings and keeping us through this year. Father, 2021 is coming. You are already in our future. And you're just waiting for us to get there. But you're already there. And by, the, by your sovereignty, by your providence, you're going to move us into what you have us to do. So Father, bless us. Bless each one of us. Bless our church members. Bless churches all across the country, all around the world in this time and what you're doing because we know that you're doing some great things that we may not even be able to comprehend right now or see, but we know that you're up to something. And all of this that has happened is just a setup to show your glory. And we thank you for it. We are expecting you to come forth and to show out. We're expecting your grace. We're going to be in our lives that we may do that we, what you called us to do. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Here's to 2021. Here's to 2021. 2021. Love y'all. Happy New Year. Love y'all The year too. of execution. Ex yes. Yes. Yeah. Right. That's good. 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 That's good.